You are looking at one of the nerve centers of any good eating establishment, the dishwashing area. If you, Mr. Dish Machine Operator, don't do your job correctly, the result is unhappy people. Lots of them. The bells stop ringing. And soon, there are no people at all. If the dishes you handle are not washed at top speed, if they come out dirty or unsanitary, you, your management, and everyone you work with are in trouble. That's why your job, proper dish handling and dish machine operation, is important to any successful eating establishment. Cleanliness is the keynote of the food service industries. And cleanliness must begin with employees. Since dish machine operators come into contact with utensils and dishes on which food is served, they must be neat and clean while on the job. Being friendly with busboys and other dish machine operators makes your job easier and more pleasant. Remember that teamwork and cooperation with others are essential in the food service industries. Your first step in washing dishes is to remove the excess food bits and particles. You can do this with your bare hands, or wear rubber gloves, or use a squeegee. Find out which method your management prefers. Then pre-rinse under a warm spray. This helps to ensure the wash cycle doing a complete job. Now let's see how the dishes are loaded on a large conveyor type machine. Place each dish carefully and properly in the conveyor. Be sure that two dishes are never stacked in one space. This gives the wash and rinse sprays the best chance of doing a thorough job. Place cups, rim down. Stack glasses, upside down. Put silverware into a shallow perforated tray. Then pre-rinse to soften remaining food particles. Lastly, place the tray on the conveyor. Cups or glasses in racks can also be placed on the conveyor. Now let's look at a smaller type of dish machine, a type that is used in many establishments. Here, after plates or other dishware have been cleaned of excess food particles, they are placed in dish racks. They are pre-rinsed both front and back. Make sure that plates are properly separated. Also, in loading, handle all dishes and glassware carefully to avoid breakage. That's right, arrange them correctly for the best washing action. For this type of machine, put silver, handles down, in the special containers which are placed in the dish racks. Then pre-rinse silverware to prepare it for the most effective washing. To better understand how the dish machine works, let's look inside. As your dishes move into the machine, sprays are activated from top to bottom, first for washing, then for rinsing and sanitizing. For these sprays to do their job, you must load the machine correctly. Learn about the detergents required by your equipment. Then be sure you maintain proper operating temperatures, usually 140 to 160 degrees in the wash cycle, 180 degrees or more in the rinse cycle. If your management uses a wetting agent, learn how to add it correctly by asking someone who knows. As items come out after washing, they will quickly dry in the air. With this type machine, you place items in racks or bins as they come out on the conveyor.
covering, such as paper or cloth, will keep your dishes sanitary for a longer period of time. Place silverware in separate containers and store away from traffic and moisture. Also, place cups in racks. Again, don't touch the edge of the cup. Place glasses in racks. Handle them as far as possible from the edge of the glass. Don't touch dishes on any surface that comes into contact with either the food or the mouth. Check dishes for chips and cracks. Remove broken, chipped, or cracked dishes and throw them away since they cannot be sanitized and may cause the spread of disease. Now a few tips on keeping your dish machine clean. Equipment varies from place to place. So first, study the instruction manual that comes with your machine. But there are some basic rules. First, turn off the heater. Then turn the drain handle to open and drain the dishwasher tank. At least once a day, remove the strainer pans and overflow cover. They should be cleaned of food soil, preferably at the pre-rinse stand. Next, remove the rinse arm. And then the wash arms, both lower and upper. The wash arms must be carefully inspected for obstructions such as prune seeds, toothpicks, or pieces of bone or glass. These obstructions must be removed immediately by taking the wash arms apart. Otherwise, your dishes will not get clean. At least once a week, clean the rinse arm spray nozzles with a paper clip, like this, to remove dirt or calcium deposits. The overhead rinse nozzles should be cleaned in much the same way. After you put the rinse and wash arms back on your machine, make sure they turn freely. That's it. Spin them. Now close the doors and with the drain open, operate your machine to cleanse its interior. Finally, open the machine and replace the strainer pans and overflow cover. Leave the doors open until the next time you use the machine. This way it will get a chance to dry out and air. The entire procedure is simple, effective and important. And you must follow the procedure carefully. Hey, care must not only be taken to ensure the dishes are actually clean and sanitized, care must also be taken to minimize breakage. For each broken dish represents a loss of money to your management. Excessive breakage could eliminate profit and put you out of a job. And that about sums it up. You, Mr. Dish Machine Operator, have a vital job. You can be a success if you understand your job and do it well. Part of those smiles of satisfaction belong to you.